Welcome back to Black Skies Reviews mini series for the Joy Toy Fair Mac 2 Strike Type. This is a 118 scale mech, and we're going to be taking a look at some of the mostly asked questions about the uh, the mech, uh, some playability question answers, and we're going to dive into the future of the Ninth Legion figures and mechs, and we're going to do a wrap up. So let's get started by taking a look at the uh, playability. So the overall playability is, uh, in my opinion, this is strictly my opinion, um, very fiddly. So you have your shoulder pads and your thigh pads. They they kind of just loosen up and move around a lot. So you're gonna you're gonna be messing with one one part of the mech, and other things are gonna be falling off. Um, Especially if you're trying to put the gun in, in the guy's hand. Um, they do bend here and you start bending the actual uh, arms. You can see how I just tried to bend that elbow joint and then stuff's just moving around like crazy. Hands fall off very easily. It's really not much to grab because everything you grab, all this is just fiddly and it falls off. Since the hand did fall off, um, you can see that his waist even shifted to the side. And you start to lose stability because he is top heavy. Um, so in my opinion, <laughs> the best way to get the gun in his hand for just for display purposes is to take his hand off. And it's just a pig. And then you can put it into the socket on the actual weapon and do your adjustments as you see fit. So you can see almost all three fingers do fit in that area. Do you hate this bottom bars they put on these weapons? I wish you would stop doing that. It's just a pain. And you can see it does come around. And since the articulation is really, really nice, you can definitely get a good grip. Um, a good grip on his hand. And then you just try to adjust his arm to where you want it. Place it back on. You can you know, slide your stock back and forth. One thing else I want to note, if you hold this weapon down. So this thing will fall off from my unit at least even on the slide rail and then if you go too far it comes off right there or you follow through and comes off on the back so it is I guess it gets tight right there for some reason it just kind of stays on mine at least so not sure if that will follow through on yours or not um, so yeah that's pretty much the uh, overall for the weapon um, it's just going to be a matter of patience and um, to get this weapon in his hand, to get them in posability, you know, things are falling off left and right, things are shifting. So, yeah, it's definitely a very beautiful piece if you're going to have it for display purposes. Um, but for, or, I would say, very gentle play at, at least because you have two types of materials. You know, the outer armor is a brittle and the um, Exoskeleton inside is um, a little more better plastic. And you see how he's just top heavy, but you start fiddling like he wants to fall. So, last, let's take a look, um, take a look at this cockpit. So, here we have the cockpit. Let's see if I can get some light in there for you guys. So, in here on the back wall, we have like a silver screen. We do have some red and black paint on the sides just to break up the gray. Same for both sides. And then we have this bar here that you need to, you know, this will probably come stuck when you get it if you got to work it out. And this is really the only way you're going to try to get any figures in there is by putting the figure in and then putting that in its, in its uh, place. Then we have this seat here. See if I can get a better view of that for you. There's some silver there, it's like some little vents or speakers or something. It was black, most of it's black and gray though. A lot of sculpt work. Now, if you do have the Fear Mac 1, this is the same cockpit. So, since I have extensive experience with Fear Mac 1, here's the lowdown on the actual fit for the. Um, figures. Any male Joy Toy figures are not going to fit in here. Now, 
Uh, they're just too bulky. The problem with that is the thigh pads get in the way the gun holster. Um, I've actually tried several times with different figures, and what happens is if you, you're fiddling with it and you, you know, you got knee pads popping off, you got gun holsters falling off, and you kind of have to re glue them. They're not broke because they're just glued on, you glue them back on. Um, the female characters will fit. Like if you have her, or she's part of the Knights Legion, she'll fit in there, but without the helmet. So basically, you know, you have to be very, very careful because I actually tore her knee pad off, I had to re glue it, and uh, you just got to get them seated in that position. And these these arms need to go, need to clear this right here, and then if you change her head sculpt to her normal head but the helmet is an issue with scraping the top of the cockpit now the male figures you can uh, maybe take all their gear off they may fit. I never tried it but I'm assuming that it might because that's the issue of the gear and you just put that piece back on and uh, once you put that piece back on you can just see you know, close your cockpit and you can see how she's, you just have to get it just right. If you can see her head right there, just scratches the top of that. You're not going to get the helmet. Once you put the hair on, you're definitely going to be really on, on the limit of uh, putting the female character in. You're not getting the male char character in with any gear on. So it looks like for the Nice Legion figures, you're going to have to uh, pretend that they're in there. If you absolutely... Uh, um, want to play with your figures or you know strip, try stripping down your males and uh, put your female in her but you only got one female and eventually you're going to have up to four mechs um, so that's the uh, that's the overall for the cockpit it's a shame they haven't fixed that on the uh, figures So my for me for playability wise, I think you know I'm gonna give a. So far, currently, we have three O9 figures and two mechs. Now there's going to be let's talk about the future of the O9s. There's going to be two more mechs. We're going to show you some photos here in a bit. I don't know what happened. You see how well they look together. The figures look great together, as you can see here. Um, yeah, they look fantastic. So you guys remember what this looks like. So the Fair Mac 3 is a white one. I'm not sure where to go with this. I think they're just throwing names on stuff just to sell because this is a popular unit. Um, so but they, uh, the fourth mech takes us back. Fair Mac 4 takes us back to like this color scheme so it'll fit beautifully. Then you'd have three mechs. If you skip out on the third one, you have three mechs three figures so then the fourth one's a sniper well let's talk about that in a bit um so but unfortunately it puts you back into a weird position because the f best of my understanding fear mech 4 comes with another nice character so now we're back to one extra character and three mechs if you don't use the white one the white one is definitely gonna stick out like an ass or if you're trying to do a unit in a specific aesthetic and color pattern so if you're not aware this is what the fear myth 3 looks like do not know why they went with the white um, coloring they should stay with the same coloring pattern if they wanted to make this a, a ninth legion um, not sure if they're considering ninth or it's just a fear mech or if the fear mech is just you know absolutely um, um, for the uh, or nice legion or first just they're just named on fear max but that's what that looks like and uh, kind of really takes away from the overall aesthetic and uniformity also i want to remind you guys that there's pictures out there that has this 118 scale figure it does not come with this mech that is not the uh, figure that comes with the uh, fear 4 mech so that figure is um out in limbo so no one knows where or how if they're going to ever be available. Okay, so this is a look at the Fear Mac 4 and the figure that it comes with. You can see that it does go back to the color scheme and it'll fit in your uh, 
09th, 09th, whatever you want to call it, uh, Legion, very nicely. So, but, you know, if not using that white mech, it leaves you one figure without a mech. So at least it gives you some options on how you want to uh, build your 09th Legion, 09th Legion. Um, if you want to follow the, the overall aesthetics with the white mech, don't bother you. I really wish they just stayed with the uh, white mech came out when you know, Sneak Peek came out. It was called a white polar mech. I think that had been a better name and just changed the number or eliminated it from the, uh, the overall mech. So, but feel free, you know, put down the comments on how you're going to display your uh, Air Knights Legion or, you know, what you're going to do about the uh, two new mechs that are coming out for the Air Knights Legion. If you're going to include the white one or if you're not or, you know, um, let us know. We're all interested in how you, how you feel about that topic. All right, I pretty much think uh, we cover everything that I can think of. Um, so as this wrap up, I'm gonna go ahead and remind you guys, don't forget uh, to, if you wanna watch the entire miniseries in, in order, don't forget to click on my channel, look for the playlist for the 09th Legion Fear Mac 2. Uh, so that way you'll start from the beginning and play through. I'm gonna really be releasing all five parts at the same time that way you know you guys don't have to wait for further uh videos so i want to thank you guys for watching and i want to thank you if you watched the entire uh mini series uh please like the videos uh let me know that way y'all know if you guys like this uh little mini series the way of doing things are a very high detailed look at you know individual toys and collectibles don't forget to share the video Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed. And uh, thanks for watching. And we will see you guys in our next review.